Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kurt Busch's Shell Pennzoil Dodge from 2011. So let's take a look at the box here. Typical generic Penske box, Penske Racing, X Racing Collectibles, Platinum Series Lionel. Got to render the car that's not on there straight, if you can see. Penske Racing, another render of the car. Got the body on the back there. You see they made 4,553 of these things. This is listed as number 22 Shell, not Shell Pennzoil for some reason. 2011 copyright and such on the bottom. Let's get down to the car itself, and it is a bright and colorful looking car. This was the birth of the Shell Pennzoil Scallop paint scheme. As you know, they're still running it today. Some people love that, some people hate it. I like this paint scheme, so I really don't mind, although I would like a change. <laughs> Though, if you haven't noticed on my channel by now, I do like Pennzoil and Shell stuff, so I've always liked their colors, so you know. I don't have a problem with this paint scheme, but I do hope they change it someday. It is the same for next year if you haven't paid attention yet. <laughs> well, let's do a quick 360 of the car, as usual. Because Kurt Busch initially did design this paint scheme like this, so if you really hate somebody, hate Kurt Busch. <laughs> Which, I don't know why people want to hate a paint scheme just because it's lasted a few years. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I've always thought that was kind of weird, like, oh, I like that paint scheme. Oh, what, it ran more than two years? Oh my god, it's terrible. Recycled, boring, lazy, get rid of it. Penske sucks. <laughs> if you haven't noticed by now, Penske does like to keep their paint schemes the same. <laughs> They've rarely ran, like, one-year paint schemes on any of their main cars. The Miller, like, the Miller paint scheme was basically the same from, like, 1991 through 1996. <laughs> then it was, I guess the one year that was one change, they had the, like... The Miller car occasionally has one year off paint schemes. But that's a story for another day. Let's get down to sponsors on the hood. You have Shell Pennzoil Dodge Charger number 22. Got Shell Pennzoil Discount Tire and AAA and Dodge down there. Got Lennox on the C post and on the B post you have Mopar, PPG, Bosch, Snap on, Mazak, Magellan, and Coca Cola. On the back you have Shell Pennzoil number 22, Dodge. Got Shell Pennzoil on the deck lid. This is number 2190. Got the same stuff down the other side, as you can see right there. Take a look under the hood. See, it just says Shell Pennzoil under there. There's your engine detail if you would like to see it. Take a look under the deck lid. You get your typical fuel cell and such back there. Roof flaps do, in fact, open. And there is the underside of the car if you would like to see it. Now, probably worth pointing out in this car, if you watched my review of the Kozlowski 2011 car, is this is really what you want, this is what you're gonna see on the original standards, the kind of inaccuracy. You see the chargers above the thing instead of down here. You got Dodge on both sides under the headlights instead of in the grill like right there. And then you have the major stuff on the back where you know it has these little square lights instead of the whole wide light across. Sadly, this paint scheme was never reproduced accurately. I mean, it was kind of next year with A.G. Allmendinger, but if you're a Kurt Busch fan and didn't care about Allmendinger or Logano's, then this was the only way you're gonna get this car. So sadly, you cannot get a Kurt Busch Dodge with the accurate lights unless you get that Pennzoil Ultra car. But, I don't know. That The lights really bug people, but they're not terribly off. I mean, if you don't really stare at the back, because I mean, the front, the headlights are still perfectly fine and the grill and everything still looks fine. So, here's next to the 164th if you want to see that. But, interesting to note that this car is also the rarest Spin Master ever made, <laughs> or one of the rarest. Spin Master made one in the NASCAR Athletics line back in 2011, but like after Kurt Busch got kicked from Penske, they just like, I don't know, didn't release them all, so it ended up becoming very, very rare. <laughs> I never got one, but you know, it's one of the three rare Spin Masters. You have the Jeff Gordon with the Coors Light Pole logo is the rarest, then you have this Kurt Busch card, and then you have the Joey Logano Do Dollar General. I could do a review on NASCAR Athletics someday, but David Land's got that stuff covered, so <laughs> don't really need to do that. Well, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. This has been a review of Kurt Busch's Shell Pennzoil Dodge from 2011. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.